Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today, I'm going to introduce you to an incredible WordPress plugin named Pixelavo. Its primary goal is to help you grow your e-commerce business by enabling you to seamlessly integrate Facebook Pixel into your WooCommerce website. So without further ado, let's get started. First, go to the plugins menu and click add new. Now search for the plugin over here. Once the plugin appears in the search results, install and activate it. Since the plugin is exclusively crafted for WooCommerce stores, make sure to install and activate the WooCommerce plugin as well. After that, you will be redirected to a page where you can add pixels to your site. Alright, let me show you how to add one. If you click add new pixel, a pop-up will appear where you can insert some essential information about the pixel you want to add. Let's start by giving the pixel a name. Next, you need to insert the pixel ID you previously created in your Facebook Business Manager. In the following fields, you can select the pages you intend to use the pixel on. Pixelavo also offers an option to enable or disable the Conversions API. If you want to enable the Conversions API, it will ask for an access token and a test event code. Both of them can be found in your Facebook Business Manager. All you need to do is copy and paste them. Once you are done adding all the necessary information for the pixel, save the settings. Now that you have successfully added a Facebook pixel to your website, let's move forward to the next tab which is pixel events. As you can see, a number of Facebook pixel events are listed here that you can enable or disable according to your requirements. Alright, now it's time to see the plugin in action. First of all, visit the store and click on a product to view its details. Here I am using a Google Chrome extension named Metapixel Helper which is super handy for tracking various pixel events. Now if we click on the extension, we'll see that it's showing information for two separate events. If we add a product to the cart and take a look at the extension, we'll see that another event named Add to Cart has been registered. Next up, I'm gonna walk you through some advanced options available in the Settings tab. Starting with the exclude roles option that allows you to exclude different user roles for whom you don't want to track any pixel events. Let's say you don't want any pixel events getting triggered for the administrator role. Now if you return to the shop page and give it a reload, you'll see that there is no pixel event found here as you're logged in as an administrator. Then comes the product feed option. If you want to use dynamic product ads on Facebook, then you must enable this option. You can also control whether you want to include all the product variations in the feed or not. Below, you can see the feed URL which is required to set up your Facebook product catalog. With Pixelavo, you can optimize the product feed by excluding certain product categories or tags from it. Here, you can set an identifier to identify your product using a Facebook pixel. The description field lets you select which product field you want to use as the description on the Facebook product catalog. Now let's save the settings and check what's inside the feedback URL. If you copy the URL and open it on a browser, you'll notice that it actually contains all the data related to the product feed in XML format. Now, I'm going to show you how this particular option works. Alright, so first set a delay of 5 seconds over here. It means no pixel events will be registered for visitors who leave your product page within the first 5 seconds of their visit. Once you save the settings, return to your store and reload the page to see how it works. As you can see, the view content event gets triggered once a visitor spends over 5 seconds on your product page. Pixelavo also offers an option to include additional information with the purchase event, such as shipping details, applied coupon codes, etc. 
To see this feature in action, place an order by filling out all the necessary information. Now if you take a look at the extension, you'll see that the purchase event has been triggered with extra details. Pixelafo can even help you reach more targeted audiences by including additional user information to the event parameters. Next up is the advanced matching feature, which is pretty helpful in improving the performance of meta ads to drive better results. Now, if you add a product to the cart with the advanced matching feature enabled, you'll notice that some advanced matching parameters are sent to Facebook alongside the event details. In case you need to add multiple pixels to your website, the plugin enables you to do that as well. All you have to do is add another pixel from here. So there you have it, that's all about the step-by-step -step process to integrate Facebook Pixel into your online store using the Pixelafo plugin. If you're using WooCommerce to run your online store, consider giving this plugin a try. And if you have any questions or suggestions regarding this plugin, please let us know in the comments below. So that's all for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.